click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hi friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about the free radical mechanism and that is what we have discussed that is the polymerization of ethene and now in this topic we are going to talk about the preparation of some addition polymers and now let me talk about those reactions <music> So friends, now in this topic, we are going to talk about the preparation of some addition polymers and starting with the first one, that is, let us understand that is how we can prepare, that is, polyethene. So as the name suggests, that is, polyethene is nothing but it is composed of various repeating units that consist of the monomer that is made up from, that is, ethene. That is what I am going to talk about. That is, suppose, if we have considered that is n moles of ethene, that is, CH2, double bond CH2, and this is the reaction that is what we have discussed in our previous examples that is for the free radical mechanism and that is nothing but that is the polymerization of ethene so suppose if you have considered that is n moles of ethene and suppose if this has undergone through polymerization process and obviously by providing a certain kind of catalyst or certain kind of initiator obviously this will form a repeating unit and that repeating unit is nothing but ch2 single bond ch2 and then single bond so therefore this is nothing but a repeating unit so this is the repeating unit that is what we could get and ultimately whenever the chain termination will take place or whenever a product that has been formed because of this combination of this repeating units the main product that we could get is nothing but ch2 single bond ch2 so this is the repeating unit and this is what we could get we could get n moles of n number of this repeating unit and that is nothing but polyethene so this is the structure of polyethene that it will go on and this is what we can prepare it from ethene so this was a certain as well as a simple reaction related to the addition reaction and now let me talk about the next one so the next is preparation of polystyrene so now let me discuss you the structure of styrene it is nothing but it consists of a benzene ring to which it is attached to that is ch double bond ch2 so in this case the examples that we are considering it is basically an ethene or a derivative of ethene or alkene if you say so in this case basically we are using n moles of styrene and obviously if this undergoes through a polymerization process am i providing certain kind of catalyst or certain kind of initiator then the repeating unit that is what we could get is nothing but ch single bond ch2 and here that will be a phenyl ring or we could call it as a benzene ring so therefore this is the repeating unit that is what we could get and ultimately we could get a product that is nothing but ch here it will be a benzene ring this one will be ch2 single bond so therefore n times of repeating unit that is what we could get and this kind of product that is what we could get is known as polystyrene so this was the second example and now let me talk about the next one so the next is what i'm going to talk about is polyvinyl chloride which is also commonly known as pvc so if we talk about the preparation so for that we have to consider a certain monomer and the monomer that is what we are using so as to prepare polyvinyl chloride that is pvc is that is ch2 double bond C H C L. So the name of the monomer that is what we have considered over here is basically one chloroethene. So this is what we will take that is n times, and this is what we see it will undergo through polymerization process. And this is what we could get that is C H two single bond C H two C H C L. So this is the repeating unit that is what we could get. And ultimately, if this is a repeating unit, then obviously various repeating units they will combine with each other. And this is nothing but an example of an addition reaction or addition polymers. And that is what the repeating unit, all the repeating unit they will combine with each other. And the product that is what we could get is C H two C H. Here it will be C N. And this is what you could get a product and this product is nothing known as pvc that is polyvinyl chloride so this was one of the most easiest one and now let me talk about the next one so the next is oron which is also known as pan pan which relates to that is polyacrylonitrile and in this case the product that we could get is because of the usage of the monomer and the monomer that is what we could use is basically ch2 double bond ch here it is cn 
this is very much similar to that of the previous reaction the only difference is in the previous reaction this functional group was nothing but a chloro group but in this case we have a cyano group and this is nothing but acrylonitrile and suppose if we are using n moles of acrylonitrile then obviously because of the polymerization process if it will happen then the repeating unit is ch2 single bond ch here it is cn so therefore this is the repeating unit and ultimately we could get that is because of the combination of all the repeating units we could get that is ch2 single bond ch here it is cn that is n times of this molecule is what we could get and that is nothing known as or not and this is nothing but how basically the derivatives of ethene or the derivatives of an alkene they combine and this is an addition reaction and this is what it forms and now let me talk about the next one the next is teflon and let me talk about the structure of this teflon also but this teflon is formed because of the monomer that is what we could use is cf2 double bond cf2 in terms of IUPAC name we could give the name as 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 tetrafluoroethene and this is what we should consider that is n moles of cf2 double bond cf2 and suppose if this undergoes through polymerization process then the repeating rate that is what you could get is cf2 single bond cf2 and this is the repeating unit and ultimately we could get a product that is nothing but that will contain the combination of various repeating unit and this is what the structure of teflon is and now let me talk about the next one so the next i'm going to talk about is neoprene and neoprene is an elastomer and for that we have to take a monomer and that is nothing but ch double bond that is ch double bond ch2 now here also let me balance it so therefore even this here it will be ch2 so now this is what we have considered a monomer and the name of this monomer according to the ipc name this one will be 2 chloro buta 1 comma 3 diene and in that case we see we are using n moles of this monomer and after the polymerization process we understand that is the repeating unit that is we could get is because of the free radical mechanism as we have discussed earlier only that is one of the electron obviously it will get over here and one of the electron it will get over here while in this case also a formation of uh, that is free radical mechanism it will take place and this is what basically the free radical mechanism that is what we have discussed in our early lecture and this is what there will be formation of a double bond over here so therefore this is ch2 single bond c cl here will be a double bond double bond c h single bond c h and the main product that is what we could get is ch2 cl double bond ch ch2 and this is what the structure of neoprene is so that's it so this were some of the few examples related to the addition polymer and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe me channel thank you so much